Hello, welcome back to another video. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the little bell, notifications every time I upload. Um, I would say this is where the fun begins. We lap the valves in. I've taken the valves out there nice and clean. They're just to one side, nice and safe. Um, we're going to start assembling it. And then I was just like, well, I have cleaned everything. Better check the, uh, the threads again. And uh, since it's gone through the engine wash at the machine shop, there was um, there's a lot of crap in the threads, and I haven't cleaned these ones out. I have cleaned all the threads on the back there, all the uh, manifold nuts and bolts. They've all been cleaned out. But you can see it's only gone in a little way, and it's already got stiff. This one, well, all the rest of them don't even go in that far. That's it. So the trusty old Allen key, we're just here just slowly working them in. And that will clean the threads out. And then I've got the uh, the airline so I can blow it all out. And then once I've cleaned all these threads through and I'm happy, I'll take it out the front and I'll go over, blow it all down with the brake cleaner. brake cleaner on there and we'll go back through again so these ones are the uh, for the brackets on the injector that's what holds the injectors in the ones next to it that's for the glow plugs so I've got to run the glow plugs through that's good now happy with that it's going all the way in um, and I just need to clean the one out where the bracket goes for the alternator Those. That's that one nice and clean. Sweet, right. Well, I'm going to carry on and get all these cleaned out. And I'll see you in a bit. Assembly begins. I've just taken it out the front, just cleaned it all down, brake cleaner, and then uh, airline, make sure there's no brake cleaner, no more dirt in it. Just gone over everything, made sure everything is clean, and we are ready to assemble. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the one valve now because time is getting on and it's going to be dark very soon. So I'm reusing the valve springs and the valve seat and the uh, little collets. So I'm going to be reusing them. Just want a little bit of oil first. I'll up here so you can see. I'm just going to squirt a bit when some does come out. There we go. Don't need to go out there, but whatever. There we go. Lovely. Ooh. Mm. Lube that shaft up. Mm. 
There she goes, in the old. Oh, it's not even set up, I'm not even ready to go. Oh, I'm acting like I'm all ready, I'm not ready. Lovely bit of thick grease. Yeah, so let's have a look, see how this goes. What's the best way of doing it? There you go, there's one in there. When you bring the um, camera over, let's see if you can let's see if show these guys. I don't know if they can see. Looking down. Don't half a collet. Don't know if you can see me getting this on. It's a little bit harder. Oh, that's too far down. There we go. That's on there. Excellent. Just slowly release this. Oh, I say slowly. <laughs>
and that will just go over. Oh. Need to hold that barrel steady. So once that's on there, one of these little valve stem seals, I'm just going to oil it up quickly. And that valve stem seal will just slide straight over. Just push it on, make sure it's securely on. And this will just slide straight out. And it's a case of just uh, putting it all back together again. Big old dollop of grease. I was just checking, making sure they're nice and tight together as well. That's it. Right, I've got them all fitted now. All the valves are in. Stem seals, springs, the valve seat, those little collets. Um, got to clean the face off. I thought I'd just fill them all up with a bit of brake cleaner and then I angled it over to make sure that none of them are leaking and they're all fine. So that's the result. Now I'm just going to clean all this off and then it'll be hydraulic lifters and the camshaft to fit. Right, so I did leave it with the brake cleaner in there. I left it for about 15 minutes I went inside to um, have a cup of tea and a bit of toast for breakfast and this one was a little bit wet around here you could see that um, you could just see where the brake cleaner had seeped out so all I done was I uh, got the old spring clamps on removed it oh well, I didn't remove the valve completely just took the spring off um, removed the collets just so I could just pull this, the valve out a little bit um, and then cleaned all the face up using an actually uh, a, a nice clean cloth so I made sure I cleaned the seat up and the face of the you know the, the valve gave it a nice good clean because when it was in there um, once I'd released it and I turned it just a little bit you could hear a little bit of grit and I didn't want to turn it anymore so I pulled it out and then cleaned it all I've put it all back in again um, and this time, totally dry. Happy days.